All right, today I want to talk about the uh, consolidation function in, uh, or consolidation feature in Calc on the data menu. You can see it's right here, consolidate. Uh, what I want to do, I have the years 2006, 2007, and 2008. And I have employees, and it has their sales in January, February, March, and April. And this is for the year 2006. On a separate sheet, I have it for 2007 on another sheet for 2008. What I want to do is come over here in the totals and I want to add those and for like employee one I want to put his total for January so I want to add this sale in the sheet 2006 plus this one in 2007 plus this one in 2008 for employee one and that'll give me for January and I'm going to do that for each employee in each month. Uh, the first thing I need to do is I'm going to come over here to the 2006 sheet and I need to define this range here. So I'm going to come up here and I'm going to call this sales 2006, hit enter. Then I'm going to come over here to sheet 2007. I'm going to highlight that and call that sales 2007, hit enter. And then for 2008, select that and call that sales 2008. <coughs> now what I need to do now is come over here to the totals and I'm going to put my cursor here in B2 and well I'm sorry A2 and I'm going to come up here to data consolidate and what I need to do is I need to add those ranges here well and you can see and you can see up here in the function that I can use any of these functions I want to but I'm going to do the sum function in this for this example now for the source data range you can see that I have my sales 2006 and I'm going to add that my sales 2007, I'm going to add that, and then sales 2008, and I'm going to add that. And then I'm going to copy results to the total sheet in cell A2. Now I want to come over here, here and hit the more, and I want to consolidate by rows and columns. Okay, uh, So I'll put the row labels and the column labels in there. And once you do that, you just hit OK, and there you have it. And we may need to do a little more formatting here. We can, uh, well, we can center all this. And then for the numbers, let's change that to currency. And that's it. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Thank you.